Do you think anyone could tell that we're wearing matching pajamas? Yes, I think they can tell. Today is our one year anniversary of dating. And uh, maybe two weeks ago, we asked you questions that you had for us that we would answer. So obviously we decided to put on matching pajamas and I wrote down all the questions on pieces of paper and then I'm gonna ask them and Molly and I are gonna answer them. Okay, number one, are you ready? Ready. Where are you both from? Oh, this will take 20 minutes. Where did you grow up? Me. Yeah, Molly, her answer is gonna be really long. So give the Reader's Digest version. No, I will take my time and okay. it will be two, two to three years until I'm finished. My father was in the Marines, so we moved around a lot. The way that you I just started that was like, let's settle in. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Get My father was in the Marines. <laughs> we was born in Monterey, California, I'm saying. West side, west side. And then at that point, you understand west side. Yeah, that's not really how that And then works. what had happened was we moved to Virginia. Then we moved back to California. I'm saying West Side, West Side. Then... You mean West Coast? No. Okay. Then we moved to Japan. Then we moved back to California. Then we moved to Rhode Island. Then we moved to Virginia. And those are the places I've lived with my family. Thank you for having me. Where are you from? L.A. Next question. Why did each of them oh. move to New York and how was the transition? This is Wait. literally her favorite. What? This is your dream. All I've ever wanted is for people to ask me things. <gasps> Nobody asks me anything ever. No one wants to know. True. And I think it's because they know how much I will talk. I moved here approximately five years ago. Yeah, five years, five and a half years, maybe six years. Who's to say? Oh, I don't have a hair tie. Oh. Uh, do you want me to get you a hair tie? Is there one? There used to be one. Anyway, I always wanted to live here, really, I guess, ever since I graduated and I knew that I wanted to try out different cities and I had visited many times and my best friend moved here and I was like, I thought I would come and live here for like a year or so, and then moved to the next city. I wanted to live in like Chicago. I wanted to move like maybe to San Francisco. Like I like moving. When I moved here. She likes moving. I think it's from her childhood. Love to move. Deep seated love Would love to move like every week. It's my very favorite thing to do. Um, but I, I got here like and I fell in love. And now I can't imagine living anywhere else. Not with me, but with the city. Correct. Yeah, I, just to I fell in love with the city. To be very to clear. It maybe yeah. had a little something to do. No, it had we'll nothing to do with there. it. Kara, how was? Why did you move here? And what was your transition? Thank you for asking. She received an internship. She didn't want to move here. She she was so bored with LA. Seems like I'm answering for her, but this is exactly what she would say. She was in a relationship with someone and, but she, despite that, she was like, oh, I don't really want to live in LA anymore. I've been here my entire life. I'm ready for a change. And then she got offered an internship in New York by Ruder Finn. Then she got offered a full-time job Hey, after the internship. And so she stayed and she's Stop. been here for 10 years. Do you plan to stay in New York forever? Ooh, that's such a good question. I think about this a lot. We, we talked about this a lot. As discussed too. previously, I love to move. So my ideal world would be to move to Europe for a year or two, either Paris or London or Amsterdam. My, my sister, sister lives in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. <laughs> We'd move back to Europe. Moving on. We have 20 of these. We should probably answer the questions quicker. Okay. okay. Where do you work? Oh, this will be short. I work at Morgan Stanley as a project manager. Goodbye. I work at a creative PR firm called Pray Tell. When did you come out? Oh, good question. Um, I think that for me was definitely like in stages. So I think after college, I moved to Colorado and then I came back. So I think I was like 23 when I officially told my friends and they were like, yeah, duh, no one cares. 
And then I think I told my mom when I was like 26 or something. And then I just told my dad and my three brothers like six months ago. And um, that didn't go well. So it definitely goes in stages. Obviously my friends were the easiest and the most supportive. I started dating women in college and all of my friends were like, you're gay it's fine just tell us um and I was like what you're gay and I was like yeah um and then after college yeah. I told well then I told my sister and then I told my Shout parents to Colleen. we love you she's the best she's the best my sister is my best friend in the whole world and I'm she's very best. very very obsessed with her um and then I told my parents kind of after right after college ish um and here we are today. So kind of. And they're very supportive, fun. which is awesome. And they love Molly. My mom sends Molly um, snail mail cards for every holiday, which is really cute. Yeah. It's ideal. It's on the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> who is your favorite college friend? And I know ah. who wrote this question, so I'm just going to answer Sonia as my favorite college friend. But actually, I love all of my college friends. Who is your favorite college friend? Do you have to answer this? Mm, or Summer. Summer. My best friend, Summer. Who's my best friend still? And I love summer too. How did you two meet? Great question. It's really great. We question. won't spend forever on this. We're gonna make. We'll we're get, short we're trying to whittle it down to like an elevator pitch because it's actually pretty incredible. Okay. Actually, and one day we're gonna. I mean, we've been thinking about writing a script for a Hallmark <laughs> movie because this I told gold. her when we first started dating. I said we better get a freaking Hallmark movie for this. This is what happened, people. Five years ago. This was like my first year in New York. And I was moving again. I used to live in Brooklyn and then I was like, I wanna move to Manhattan. So I responded to her Craigslist post. She's like, come over. I come over. The apartment is empty. We I haven't sit even moved in yet. I just got on keys. The floor that this, we're sitting on. This exact spot right now. Well, maybe that spot. We sat on this very floor and we talked for three hours. And it was amazing, and I thought she was awesome, and I thought that I was a shoe in I was obsessed with her, and I was like, this is my new best friend. And I even took her downstairs to meet my other friend, other and friends. we're like, come meet my friends, you're gonna love them, she's freaking awesome. I walked home, awesome. I called my mom, I was like, ma, I don't call her that. Um, I met my new roommate, aka my new best friend, she's amazing, you would love her, I'm so excited, I love the apartment, it's sick, I'm probably moving in like next week. Then a few days later, she texts me and she's like, no, I picked I, someone else. I was uh, like, I still want to be a friend. And I was like, I, okay. So this is, the... this is the conversation that I had with my friends. They were like, you're obsessed with this girl. You don't ever want to move in with someone that you're obsessed with because you want to move in with someone that is like Could've not going to be in your space. And great. then you can be best friends with her outside of this. Also, P.S. She never told me she was gay. I had no idea she was gay. It was very hard. I didn't. Long story short, it's not obvious. We. I said, believe me, best friend. I texted. saw each other again. But then we for texted. Five years. But we texted. So we just texted on and off, off, probably like twice a year. We would. A few times engage, a year. Engage, and we would be like, well, who you up to? Let's hang out. But we never. What? We never did. Then, five years later, I was like DMing her as kind of we always on Instagram. Do. Like, and what's up? What's what going on? Oh my god, I haven't talked to you in forever. Let's. Have it's been our like six months and she every was, six like, months said yeah. something about like something and basically the answer was no and then no i said i'm busy right now but what about tomorrow she said i'm running a half marathon tomorrow i said wow this girl's really so athletic. then i got on bubble and then she got on, on the bubble, same day that i got on bubble swiped and mashed and she was like oh my god hi i was like oh my god hi and then I finally convinced her to meet me, and she was like, oh, we've had this whole thing going. What if I was in like, person what if it's, like, not as good? I was like, not as good as texting twice a year? Like, I think it's like a roast <laughs> dog. So finally, she agreed. We met one year ago, and um, we, it was kind of kismet. And we were just like, damn. It really was. What we thought it was five years ago when yeah. we met, it, like it was, it was very insane. electric, and I was like, "It was very electric." You are like a very unique person, and like I'm really drawn to you. And then I knew, and it was just confirmed, and we've been together ever since. 
That's a good question. Okay, how'd you decide to move in together so soon in the relationship? Yeah. Um, well, there were a few key factors, and I think we would not be living together if these factors had not happened. Coronavirus arrived. Then, on top of that, my roommate got bed bugs. So, there were bed bugs in our apartment, and I had two roommates. One of them was like, I'm so grossed out, I'm moving and breaking the lease, and I'm out of here. And I was like, oh, okay, to the other one. I was like, we can replace her, no big deal. Then that roommate was like, I'm moving to Denver. I'm breaking the lease at the same time. I was like, damn, I don't want to really like stay in a bed bug infested apartment with like two mm -hmm. random people that I also can't find because of it, the pandemic. So like no one's really moving and like, it's just like, then I'd have to pay for both of their rooms. But if we all left, then the apartment would handle finding a new group. This was mid-March. This was so, all happens like on the weekend that all the shutdown started happening. We didn't even have a conversation about moving in together. We just were like, all right, let's get my stuff. Like we didn't even it say it out loud. Assume. We just she we got out the phone with her roommate, it. and I just said. Well, should we go pack up her stuff and bring stuff. it here? Like, and she was like, yeah, I should probably... I'm I mean, it's like out. weird looking back. Like, we a month ago, we were like, isn't it weird that we literally never even talked about it? We weren't like, what do you think about this? Like, what are the options? Like, there were no other options. I was just going to move in here. Will <laughs> Gloria ever make it inside? That's such a good question. Kira? I think she could. Why couldn't she? I've seen it in she, stores. I've seen it. She's not that big. We have like an eight foot <laughs> drakeness. She could easily Drake. live in here. You are. This is what I think. Once, I don't want to really think about it, but like February, March rolls around, Christmas goes away. God forbid. We get rid of we this celebrate tree. year round in the Mr. North Gloria, Pole. and we bring in Gloria herself, and then she'll live in the living room. That's what I think will happen with ornaments. What was it that drew each of you to each other? That's nice. <laughs> um, I would say initially her physical beauty was very enticing. And then I think she was really funny. The first time we met? Of course. I feel like I was like so schlumpy. I don't know what that means, but she wasn't schlumpy. And I was like, oh, damn, okay, okay, okay. And then she was... Funny. Humor gets me. Well, it's so funny. And then she was just like down to earth, easy to talk to. And I was like, okay, okay. But then we also went deep. And that's when you know you're hooked. What was it for you? I agree. I love that. I She was so funny. And I Love just, critical. I couldn't get enough. And I just, I really wanted to spend more time with you. Not enough. <laughs> she didn't choose me. Anyway, but what is the hardest part of living together? I can answer this. I know what it's going to be. Uh, I would say that we have different ideas of what cleanliness is. Oh, call me crazy. But she likes a home that is quote unquote lived in. So she likes it when things are just like out, out, and everywhere. It doesn't on have every to surface. be so sterile. Not me. Not me. Everything has its place and it should go back. You, Irish, it's very simple to me. You know what I'm saying? I take you out, go a get fork, something, put it back. I walk away simple. to get the food. I come back, the fork is gone. She tries to make it very white and black here, but it's not the case. So it's it's more generally. <laughs> For the record, I'm not that messy. She's not dirty, but she's messy. It's not dirty, but she just doesn't put things away. Whatever. I like it We're lived in. I and like it lived for the in. record, um, this would never be an issue if we left the apartment. Oh, that's true. Oh, if we were like going to work, going to hang out with friends, going to work out. But since we're here 24 yeah. seven, seven days a week, all I have is to clean. I have a theory. So it's an that issue. It's, I, I'm not, I don't like myself. I don't like it. It's very stressful for me. I'm very anxious when it's like dirty. I have to clean. Do oh. you guys ever fight? You always look so happy. That's nice. It's a shrug. 
We do fight. We do fight. We, we do are fight. happy. Obviously, we from foot. We we fight. we fight in a way that we work on. Yes. Like making we it a better official thing. We don't ever like go below the belt or say things that you can't take. I would back. never. I would never. Because that's just not good for anyone. And I think we've both been in toxic relationships where the other person would do or say something that always stuck with you. And yeah. so I never wanted to be that way. And I know she's never wanted to be that way. So we do get mad and annoyed, but it's like, hey, I'm really mad at you about this. Yeah. And then the other person can be like, oh. And I'm or, like, oh. I just took this out. She's like, well, you it's just took about it out cleaning. two hours ago. It's normally about yeah, stuff. It's usually about cleaning. And it's, it's that like or Louie. Like, Louie is Louis hard. Like, yeah. you know when like your like right dog, now, he's like tearing something up. Louie! What's the last question? When is the wedding? <laughs> Again, really good questions, you guys. Right? Those are really good questions. Like not that far away, to be honest. We've been um, talking about it. We've talked about it a lot. We have nothing else really to do. We don't have a lot of um, other we'll things on our mind. Want to be more exciting. At one point in the beginning of quarantine, we were so crazy on White Claw. We were like, let's get married right now. We, it, it was like, we didn't. if you remember after you had been like, it was like, lockdown was like fun. May? We bought like all sorts of like paint yeah, supplies and like, done the whole thing. you went like, it was our first full cycle of like, oh my God, living from home, TV, movie marathon. If you go and back like, to like our first video loops. on Instagram that we ever did, and you were just like, this is fun. Like drinking and nonstop drinking. And then like, again, and then it was loops. depression and we were like, and then like Maybe the crafts and it was like, oh, let's be more mindful. And we were like stretching more. We were like stretching. We were doing a lot of stretching. We did like a, like a, like a thankful thing every day, remember? Grateful diary. And it we was were like what a we were whole And then we went through the paints. Once we were, we were done with the paints, we painted once. And we said, this isn't even fun. It's kind of a lot of work. We're not good at it. Then we were like, there's nothing left for us. Except to get courthouse. married. So, <laughs> anyway. we, we really freaked our two best friends out who live around the corner. We they were, were like, like, we're getting married today. And they were like, why? Oh my God, we're leaving. Just Did you hear he your just mommy's? Had, like, an entire talking He's quarter. like, oh my God, my mommy's are getting quiet. married. Oh. oh my God, it smells like peanut butter. Oh. Was, that's just pure peanut butter. That's straight so, peanut butter. That is the last question. That Thank concludes you so our much <laughs> for even remotely caring about what we have to say. I barely if care. Anyone so listens to the nice. very end, you deserve a medal because this is all hard. like really, really nice. And I will give you money. I think I'm not going to send <laughs> you.